Hey, what's up guys, it's B. I don't know if you follow me on Twitter, but if you do, you've probably seen me tweeting all these things about saving the bees, um, saving all the honeybees because they are dying out really quickly and it's really important that we save them. So today, I wanted to take this opportunity to uh, show you guys how to really help the bees. And so we're gonna go to the store, we're gonna get some flowers, and the way that you can help is by doing the same thing. So right now, we're gonna go to the store and pick up some flowers, so let's go. Honey bee. Honey, honey bee, honey, honey bee, won't you be with me? So we're here at the garden center and we're just gonna look for some flowers. I see like lots of bees like over in this area. So what we have here is called a cone flower mix and the bees seem to really like these. I see like tons of bees right here. Um, so we're just gonna grab some of these. All right, here we go. One down multiple to go. I just grabbed some lavender because bees are really attracted to lavender. I'm following the bees. I'm trying to find whatever plants they're sitting on and get those. The main reason why this is so important is because honeybees pollinate so many of the crops that we need every day in our lives and we would lose so much money per year if we didn't have the honeybees to do that for us. We would have to go through, all the farmers would have to go through by hand and pollinate every single crop by hand. So bees are really like a lot more important than we think they are. Right now I'm looking at herbs. I'm gonna try to find um, mint, area of lavender. I'm also looking for cilantro. This one looks good. Oh, this is kind of cool. This plant becomes, I mean this pot becomes part of the soil. It's pretty badass. Honey, honey bee. They didn't have uh, wildflowers that were already grown out there, so I have to come in and get seeds and plant them myself, but that's okay. Again, my hand's a little dirty, that's fine. This is the California poppy, even better, because that just means that it's native to here, right? Yeah. This is me being super, super strong. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, success. These are all the lovely flowers and plants that I got, and I am going to go home and start my own little bee saving garden. So, now I just have to start digging my gigantic hole with this little shovel. Okay, here we go with my hole that's gonna take eight years to dig. Oh, this is so dry, this really needs some water. All right, so, once you have your hole dug, you can put your plant in there. I kinda wanna loosen this a little bit. Um, some of the soil that I already had in there. And I'm gonna mix in some of this. Oh, I just heard a bee. <gasps> Look, there's a little bee! Look, it likes my flower! Yay! See, look, it's like a little baby bee. Good for you, bee. You live on. And there we have our first planted little flower. Look how cute it looks, aw. There you go, little plant. Grow. All right, so we're just gonna dig a little hole for my lavender now. Now I have my plant, it smells really good. Um, gotta carefully try to get it out of here. All right, here we go. I'm gonna just loosen this around. Once it's inside the little hole. Normally, you're not supposed to get pink, orange, or red flowers, but when I was at the store, I saw a ton of bees on these particular flowers. And I think that it's just because of this, how exposed this top part is here. Even if you only plant one flower, it takes literally 10 minutes out of your life and that's it. And then you've helped the bees. Look how cute, Oh, This corner was so boring and empty before. Now I'm just going to plant all my little um, wildflowers. This is my rake. <laughs> um, and you just rake little, um, like, make little dents in the ground. Cause the seeds don't really need to be that far underneath. Look 
cute. I don't really need to put a small number because not all of these are actually gonna turn into flowers. They're not all gonna grow. And then just cover them. Gonna add a little bit of water. I think that now I'm finished. All right, guys, so that's it. I am finished with my little mini bee saving garden. Um, I hope that this inspired you. And if you feel the urge after watching this video to plant some flowers or any type of herb, any plant that's gonna help with the bees, you can look up to see, you can look it up online to see what works best in your environment. Uh, make sure you tweet me pictures. And if I see that you tweet, tweet me a picture of you trying to save the bees, I will follow you because I'll be so excited that I am starting a little mini movement to save the bees. So thank you for watching and I hope that you go outside now and plant some flowers. <laughs> Bye.